what is up youtube this is our first video um not gonna lie i'm kind of new to this so i'm gonna be learning with you guys but we are gonna go over my car the black tiburon we'll go over this and i will let you guys meet some of the other members of our little kind of crew thing and before you know you come hating on the comments or whatever you know fuck you i don't care okay we will get right to it this is my 2005 Hyundai Tiburon, it has the 27 V6, and it is a five-speed manual that makes about 172 horsepower-ish from factory. It's got a few uh, dents and dings, but you know, overall, it's all right. So, backstory on this car. Uh, I started cutting lawns when I was 14, and um, saved up a lot of money, and my dad at the time was, uh, you know, working at Hyundai and um we went to an auction and found this needing work for about 600 bucks so got the car new transmission got it all running and then we swapped over the touch screen right here i have a sub in the back which i will show you in a minute yeah it's the five speed and um from there it didn't really do too much swapped over these wheels from a gs spider off of an 08 new headlights and a lip and Honestly, I'm not too sure about what else I'm going to do to the car. Currently, I have a DNA Motorsports catback sitting in my basement waiting to install that. So we will have that on soon. I will have a video on that and I need end of one of these because it's fucked. Anyways, I will get right to under the hood and go over some stuff. All right, you guys are about to see one dirty ass engine bay. What's up, YouTube? That's me. Okay, so this is literally stock. 172 horsepower uh it's front wheel drive this is the hyundai 27 like i said um this right here is what i wired my sub to this i wired this straight through back to the fender well i did this all on my own by the way so yeah you guys can hate saying oh his daddy works on this car yeah whatever anyway so i wired this through the fender straight up to my steering wheel it goes through the bottom which i'll show you the wires those little wires and it runs back through there to the trunk and it also has a summer so all around it's a pretty nice car i like it i enjoy it it's fun to take on back roads and they handle like an absolute beast so uh, there is the wires right there to my sub and i will show you guys my sub it's just a 12 and i put my amp straight to the back so there we go there's my sub like I said, I put the amp, literally, We I just screwed it to the back. Well, my dad helped me with this part. I did the wiring and stuff, but he bolted this down to the side. Uh, ported box. We went and got the box. In, well, we went and got the sub installed in, like the actual speaker part of it. So, uh, yeah, the only real bad part about paint is that right there. But it, it buffs right out. Other than that, it's an overall clean car. So I will give you guys a start up real quick. It'll be a warm start and then we'll do some driving while I talk about it. All right, and this will be a warm start and I'll just do a few revs real quick for you. I just gotta give her some good, good juice. Haha, <laughs> you thought. I was broke. I don't put 93 in my cars because I'm broke. One day. One day. Alright. Alright, now we are in the car. It's probably gonna shake a little bit. Um, it's quick, but it's not like super fast. It throws your head back like first or second here. We'll do a little pull right here. Yeah, but the 
Ace Come Factory at like 172 and uh, the only thing I have is a downpipe right now so it's not really much and then it's got little like Magnaflow mufflers on it which is how I bought it so it's almost completely stock pretty much just stock um, we're throwing the exhaust on here soon probably sometime within the next month I gotta wait to go get it inspected because the exhaust actually is not legal so um, don't try that at home but yeah, hopefully it sounds good. Um, I'm gonna start posting more in here, let you guys meet the squad. Some of them gonna have some cool cars. We got one with a Beamer, a uh, Corvette. Um, one of them is actually in the process of starting to build a Chevy Cruze. It's kind of crazy. He, uh, he's trying to uh, slam it, put it on some cool wheels. You know, kind of whatever. Um, I don't know how long I'll have this car, to be honest. I love the car. I mean, I've owned the car since I was 14, but I'm thinking about getting a two valve or three valve and hopefully I just kind of want to go FBO and kind of like put it on a slick just to you know hold traction not because it's crazy fast because 400 is yeah, it's kind of all right but hopefully we can get something sounding good like that like a two valve or three valve and uh, I'm gonna start going down to the um, raceway the drag track just uh, a little bit away and um, I'm gonna have a buddy come down there he's in the process of building a Civic a 95 Civic uh, it's a two-door. It's not the. It's not the EK though. It's not the hatch. It's like. Uh, it's like the coupe. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start doing that. I'll start posting some more of that stuff. Hopefully, we'll be getting in some races soon. But I'm gonna be trying and uploading as much as I can. So thank you for watching. But as I said, I have school, so I'm gonna be posting as much as I can. But no promises on, um, you know, how often it'll be. I'll try and post as often as I can. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, that is my little build spiel type thing. But uh, yeah, everybody have a great night, and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.